All right. Welcome. Double Take Sports Talk. We are back with our predictions game. It took me forever to try to get this together. Mm-hmm. And it's finally together. Um, it's going to be a good year to have this back again. We're not including this in our podcast. We are actually uh, just putting it as video content only. Actually, come think about it. I could do this as well. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm going to try some here real quick, if you don't mind, real quick. Totally fine. Didn't think about it just until now. I had it on here once before. It's because I had no space, but yeah. I'll try it again. Because I'm not getting anywhere with the uh, Uh. See, I don't have access in the what you call it. <sighs> okay, that ain't gonna work then. Okay. How about if I do it this way? Because this is going to be very dull if I don't do something a little bit different here. So let's try this. Actually, don't you have... Never mind. You do, but you don't. What's up? I was going to ask if you actually had the NFL uh, website up. I did. You did? I did, but it's too slow. Okay. Then well, I'll... because I'm doing it on the uh, uh, iPad. iPad. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's stupid slow. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it on my stand. I'm going to pull up the schedule uh, just to have a, a, a something to look at. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Ah, shoot. It's coming up. Yeah, it's up. What's wrong? I'm trying to figure out what it. What is this? That's it's the schedule. No, it's kind of like a grayish type of box to show it. I don't know what it is. Oh, well, hang on. Yep, it's gone. Now. Okay. All right. So here we go. It's been so long since I've done this. Yeah, man. NFL predictions. Week one is tomorrow as well. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. So let's start off with that game. The, the game that has to be done right now. Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'll do that next week. Daryl, who you got? All right. So, I got... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to have to go with the box. I agree. I'm going with the Bucks. I didn't want to go with the Bucks, but I'm going with the Bucks. Me neither. The Dallas Cowboys Tampa Bay Buccaneers 820 on NBC will be played tomorrow. 
uh, on NBC. That's the Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, next game would be Sunday, September 12th, 1 o'clock on CBS. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. Daryl, who you got? I'm not going to jump straight to the aid of this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, the Houston Texans. I'm going to go with the uh, Jaguars. I'm not sold on them yet. Oh, shoot. You're not sold on the Jags yet? Nope. I'm so totally not sold on them yet. But you sold on them beating the Colts. Who, the Jaguars? Yes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Jacksonville can get away with that all dang all game, all season long. They can win one game and they can be against the Colts. That's it. Two. Or, yeah, two. But so they do have a struggle boat on the road against the Colts, too. That's, that's not here lately, though. No, not lately. Not lately. Uh, next game, 1 o'clock on CBS, the Los Angeles Chargers and the Washington football team. Daryl, you got? Uh, going with the Chargers. I agree. I'm going with the Chargers. All right, next game, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Seattle Seahawks and the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> I already put this. <laughs> I already put this down in predictions uh, as, a, as a test. And I already know who you're going to pick, but I got to hear it. You I got to hear it. I got to hear it from you, though. Daryl, who you got? I got the Seahawks. You damn right. I got the Seahawks. Oh, yes. I'm picking the Seahawks as well. I'm picking the Seahawks as well. That's the one thing I did do was to make sure <laughs> if I was testing anything, we made sure we pretend to Seattle to win this game. <laughs> 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 bro, man, bro. Uh, I just don't like the coast chance. Uh, first off, I, I didn't like that they picked up Carson Wentz. That was the first thing I did. Like. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Um, because he's already injury prone. And so now he's already uh, messing up by not wanting to get a vaccine, which is already messing up on that behalf, him and Darius Leonard. They both could be essential players, but they choose mm -hmm. not to be team players and choose to not be a part of the solution, only to be a part of the problem. So I don't see the Colts doing too much this season, personally. Uh, so yeah, COVID's going to really mess them up in this mm, sort of the season. It's going gonna, it's gonna to jack them up. It's going to mess them up, for sure. And, I'm, and I know Frank Wright don't want to do that, but I think, in my personal opinion, and it's a stretch, and it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But they should have signed Carla Kaepernick. I can agree to that. I can agree to that. And I can agree to that because he may be deteriorating, but he can still bring something to the table. He can bring something to the table. Right then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He may not do that good on play action, but he sure and hell can do something with his legs and do something with his arm. For sure. I agree, dear. I agree. Right. Next game, uh, <clears throat> 1 o'clock on CBS, the New York Jets, Carolina Panthers. Girl, who you got? Panthers. Go with Carolina as well. No doubt about it. Next game, 1 o'clock on Fox, the Minnesota Vikings and the Cincinnati Bengals. Daryl, who you got? Vikings. Check. Going with the Vikings as well. Next game, uh, 1 o'clock on CBS, the Arizona Cardinals, Tennessee Titans. Daryl, who you got? Who? Damn. I know. This is a matter of 
run defense versus defense, in my right. personal opinion. Uh-huh. I'm going with the Titans. I picked them as well. Next game, 1 o'clock on Fox, the San Francisco 49ers and the Detroit Lions. Throw who you got. 49ers. Check. I got them as well. Next game, 1 o'clock on CBS, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. Daryl, who you got? It's going to be interesting, but I'm picking the Bills. Interesting. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Man, Steelers got enough problems in their lives. That's true, and one of them is to win this damn football game. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that to come out of your mouth. <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, I have to be real. One of them is winning this football game. I believe they go weird, but you know, Buffalo, Buffalo is starting to become a potential play uh, championship they team are. here. They are. They are already a playoff team. Oh, they are. No, but I, they're working it up. I'm not knocking Buffalo in any way. But for some odd reason, I just see Pittsburgh winning this game. Well, I can't knock that either because you did go on the Will Walker show and you actually went on to say when he did ask who would be the surprise of the team, I think it was last year or the year mm -hmm. before that. Last year. You said the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yep. Mm -hmm. After now, they struggled that year, and now, you actually did. Now, let me say this. I'm not picking them as a surprising team this year. Oh, no, you're not? No, I'm not picking them as a surprise team this year. I already did it last year. I'm not doing it again this year. Oh, no, no repeat. Doing that. No repeat, huh? No. Uh-uh. I'm giving that to the Titans. You're giving it to the who? The Titans. They're going to be better than what they were last year. Dude, I'm going with a repeat. Pittsburgh? No, Denver. I said Denver last year. I'm going with them again. Um, yeah, I'm not going with Pittsburgh this year. Now, Denver's a good pick. No doubt about it. Denver's a good pick. No doubt about it. It looked like they got some, they look like they got some pretty good picks and signed wow. on some pretty good players in wow. that behalf. So, yeah, yeah, I think with Teddy Bridgewater at the center. Right. He has the potential to do what he did in New Orleans. Absolutely. Not, not I really do. No doubt about it. I'm not arguing that at all. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. Next game, 1 o'clock on Fox, the Philadelphia Eagles. Atlanta Falcons, who you got? Whew. I don't know. I might bomb this one, but I got the Falcons. All right. You got the Falcons? Mm-hmm. Picking the Eagles. Something interesting about the Eagles you're picking? The fact that Carson Wentz is gone? That, and I'm still bitter about them blowing that 28-3 to lead. Atlanta. That's why I'm not picking them. Oh, you... Oh, yeah. I'll be bitter, too, but... I'm very bitter about that, so I'm not picking them to win this game. Well... If it's in the constellation, they ain't been the same since then. Good. Starts from right. I'm sorry, but I'm not picking them anyway. I'm just gonna pick the Eagles and hope for the best. I'm not picking them. Now. <laughs> hope for the best. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm not picking the Falcons. This is just pure. This is just pure ignorance. I'm just picking the Eagles. The Falcons could easily win this game, but my concern is they're gonna blow a lead. So I'm picking the Eagles. Yeah, I just I just forgot they are the kings of blowing the damn game. Yes! What the hell am I thinking? I'm just going to go in anyway. Go with it, Daryl. It's just week one. That's true, just week one. I'll learn from it next week. <laughs> Not like I already <laughs> learned from it now. No kidding. Next game, 425 uh, on CBS. 
That's our first prime time part part time game. Oh, four. That is the first of four prime time games. Uh, the Cleveland Browns and the Kansas City Chiefs. Who you got? Let me say this. I can't even believe we are just sitting here waiting until you want to say something. No, no, I'm just gonna say. I'm still impressed with Cleveland. Believe that. They got potential, mm -hmm. but not in this game. Mm -hmm. I got the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. I pick Kansas City as well, but there's no way in the world. Mm -mm. Cleveland, like you said, they got good potential. They're, they're going to come up. I mean, they beat Pittsburgh, what, three times last year? Yeah, they could very well be a surprising team as well, too. Mm -hmm. But I'm still sticking with the Titans to, to be the – actually, I could pick uh, – uh, Cleveland, that's my second uh, team to, to be surprising this year as well, too. But um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going with Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Next yeah. game, 425 on Fox, the Green Bay Packers, New Orleans Saints. Who you got? The Packers. Green Bay. Yes, sir. I'm going with Green Bay as well. I thought you was going to go with New Orleans. I'm like, bro, did you forget that quick that Drew Brees retired? And even if Drew Brees did retire, I still wouldn't pick uh, New Orleans. I wouldn't either. Now, mind you, I will say this. If I had to pick New Orleans, the only reason why I would pick New Orleans is because of uh, Ida. But because they're not playing officially at home, I'm going to pick Green Bay. They didn't have the same. I don't think they're going to have that same fire. Now, it would be nice if they did, but I don't think they're going to have that same fire uh, when uh, Katrina hit. They was playing in their home stadium at that time, but perhaps now, since they're going down to Florida, it's going to be a, a different environment. environment. Yeah. It just depends on fans and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. right. it plays big. Right. Uh, next game. For... <coughs> Excuse me. Next game, 425 on CBS. You almost get this game. So, excuse me, 425 on Fox. Denver Broncos, the New York Giants. Who you got? Broncos. Check. I'm picking. The Broncos as well. I stopped picking the Giants. I'm tired of them. Yeah, because they 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 almost messed you over. Yeah. Actually, they did. They did. You. you they did mess you over, but you made it up with other teams. Mm -hmm. You made. And it I up stopped with... picking them. Mm -hmm. I stopped picking them. There was only I think twice that I stopped picking them, and they won. Whoops. I don't care. They ain't they weren't even worth it. They weren't even worth it. One mm -hmm. number well, it was something for me to get mad about, but yeah. I ain't doing it. I don't blame mm -hmm. it. No way. Next game, <clears throat> 425 on CBS, Miami Dolphins, New England Patriots, AFC East. Daryl, who you got? Dolphins. Check. I'm going with Miami. I know New England's going to win this game. but Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, New England's going to win the game. But I'm going with Miami. You think New England's just going to win this game? Yep. They're going to win. They're going to they gonna teach Mac Jones how to cheat all day long. New England's going to win. You see how well they went with Cam Newton? He had COVID, so they couldn't really teach him. And it was only one for one season. And then injuries played him as well, too. No, of course it did. Of course it did. And apparently, and apparently he probably didn't comprehend cheating, which I'm, I'm hoping that's a, a thing because... You just get, and that's the problem. See, that's what that's what that's that's what I found the problem. 
a lot of people have always ruled out Miami against New England, and Miami was always their top competition other than Buffalo. Yep. Always when it that. came to the top of the AFC East. Now, at one point, the Jets were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. But now the Jets just kind of went down under. And mm-hmm. It's had been the same. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, next game, 8-20 on NBC. Chicago Bears, Los Angeles Rams. Daryl, who you got? Rams. Check. Um, I'm going with the Rams. All right, last but not least. Monday night, September the 13th, the Baltimore Ravens, 8-15. Eastern Standard Time, the Baltimore Ravens and the Las Vegas Raiders. The gang can be seen on ESPN and ABC. Daryl, who you got? Ravens. Excuse me? Ravens. But they say if I heard raid, we're going to have some issues. Yeah, they're going to get raid from this game, so I got the Ravens. <laughs> I- <laughs> I'm going with Baltimore too. I was going to say, if you went with the Raiders, you're going to be raided too. I'm going, yeah, I would have never, I would have heard the end of it. <laughs> I would well, you know, because you know how we feel about John Gruden. Mm-hmm. Ain't nowhere in the world there. I ain't crazy about John Gruden. Mm-hmm. So, on here, we have a total of three disagree dis- blah, three disagreement games. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans, that's the AFC South, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills, and the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons. Other than that, all of our games are agreements. And this actually could be the turning point, believe it or not. Is this the most that we in disagreement games? This could be the turnout because we we ain't had this much disagreements. We had in the week one games. Not in week one, but in in uh, further games, we I think we've had as much as uh, five. In week one, or are you talking about? No, just in future games. Not in week one, though. No. Yeah. As I, I was saying, this week, could be the turning point week, because we ain't had that much in week one. Matter of fact, I don't ever remember having any in week one. Um, the last time we did it, mm-hmm. and I can't find what I. Oh, I know what I did with it. I gotta look back and look though. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all surprised that. So I'm like, well, let's see what happens. We got three disagreement games. Yep. Three. three. That's the most. Yep. From all aspects of what we've done in the prediction games. Mm-hmm. Now the premiere of this. Yep. No doubt about it. No doubt. Yep. That is our week one. NFL uh, records are predictions for uh, week one. Uh, you can catch this on YouTube, and you can also catch it on Instagram TV. Anything else? No. All right. So catch our podcast tomorrow evening. It'll be out late, but catch our podcast uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, it'll be out, but Catch it tomorrow.